So we are in a mad scientist's laboratory right now. He was studying Witcher mutagens. Uh, mom's awake and she's not in a good mood. And we are basically trying to replicate his recipe where he was trying to undo the Witcher mutations on his son and wound up only making them set in even stronger. So he was basically made super witch mutations. So we are um, coming down here to kill a giant centipede to get the ingredients we need to try to replicate um, his experiment on Geralt. Okay, interesting. He's unaware that uh, he was gonna go into some kind of ball mode where he couldn't actually damage it. Oh shit, I didn't realize there were many of them. Good to know. Aw, oh, man. Messed up my world. Come on. Nope. Come on. This is not... We're not playing whack-a-mole with Geralt. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I need to dodge. Okay. Kind of dodged. Kind of being the operative word there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep drinking water. Come on. Stop. These guys are so frustrating. I'm just trying to whirl and like take them out really quickly and I don't seem to be able to do that. Nope, he went into ball mode so he's still not technically dead yet. Okay, I need to be careful here and make sure I don't get killed. Nope. Oh, in the hole? Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to hit you back there? This is some bullshit. These guys are only level 35, and it's impossible to hit. Okay, I think I- yes, I killed a single one of them. That's an improvement. Nope, okay. Oh my god. This thing hates me. This has got to be the longest non-boss boss fight. <laughs> what am I saying? Longest non-boss fight we've had. Come on. Nope. Nope, he went into ball mode. Okay. I should have him after one more time, though. Oh, nope. He's just gonna go peekaboo. Oh my god. So I have to let him get up or he goes back down? Okay. He's definitely dead. Sorry, need your eggs. <laughs> okay, is that enough, or do I need to keep going here? Guess I need to keep going through this damn cave. So, okay, that'll work for me. Wait, again? How many do we need? Oh, they're getting stronger. Uh, okay, I guess we need the giant one. And so far, all of these have just been, like, the normal ones, so I guess we're gonna have to fight a stronger one. Okay, I was expecting to do that. Okay, at least I dodged that properly. Yeah. Nope. Missed me. Okay. Yep, chopped him in half. Good to go with that. And can I destroy these? Oh, wait, is that all I needed to do? Let's just do that? Could I have done that back there too without having to keep going up the cave? Interesting. Okay, uh, what key is Ard? Let me check. I always forget. I was pretty sure it was three. Okay, so now I'm just back down here again. That works. Okay. Maybe you have to go at it from this way? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Use. Select. Get undressed and activate the contraption. Uh, okay. Here goes Geralt. Uh, probably need to take my weapons off, too, huh? Okay. Um, there's Geralt. <laughs> and, but uh, activate. Oh my god, I have to get in it. Are you serious right now? 
I just heard something growl. Oh my god, we have to get in this. And uh, here's the end of The Witcher 3. I hope you guys enjoyed. Geralt's dead. <laughs> intriguing as machinery goes, and the mind mind work on started me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Whoop. What's up with the eagle? Does anyone else find this incredibly creepy? Girl's gonna come out and be like blue. He doesn't look any. He kind of looks like he just fought the wild hunt with his face and his veins like that. Oh, now he's back to normal. You've unlocked the mutation system. Mutations let you gain new capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. Learn more, open the character panel. That was all I had to do? Really? Okay, let's open the character panel. Mutations. Press C to open the mutations panel. All right. To use mutations, first you must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. For mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens to it. Okay, interesting. Choose one of the advanced mutations. Got it. Okay, so we'll, let me read this. Toxic blood. Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5%. 5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Currently 1.5% to a maximum of 150%. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm really glad I wasn't spending my ability points since it turns out this is what I use the extra ones for. So I'm glad I haven't been leveling up. So each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and sign intensity. Hmm. Okay, so reading this right now, basically... If I go the route of alchemy, it's more based on if I take damage, it's okay because it's going to get reflected back on um, to the person or the monster dealing it based on my toxicity level. So in this case, having a higher toxicity level is going to be better. And it'll, in order to get a higher toxicity level, that's just going to make me do even more damage. So it seems like an alchemy build is going to be the way to go with this, just based on what I'm already doing. Because if I go come up over here, um, this seems to be more based on counterattacks, which I never do. And if I take any damage, then this 5% um, attack power per hit is just going to reset back down to zero. So that's not going to be as useful because most of this is heavily based on um, countering. So this just requires toxic blood. This one's also good. Where's mutated skin actually? Wait, requires euphoria. Yeah, so if I go this, this, and then this, I'm basically, I'm going to be a boss. So this is based on toxicity level. This one's also based on toxicity level. And then I actually use an adrenaline build. So this will also decrease the amount of damage done to me. So I'm going to come over here and research this mutagen. Press enter to activate it. And I can almost actually do this one. Okay, so enter. Only one mutagen can be active at any given time. Oh, so you can't stack them, it'd be super OP. And the Strengthen Synapses mutation improves automatically when you develop other mutations. As it does, it unlocks additional ability slots. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so press escape to return to the character panel. Wow, okay. To see what mutation is currently active, got it. The strength and synapses mutation improves automatically. I already figured that out. Okay, so these are going to be extra slots that I can unlock. But right now I'm just rolling with each time. Whoops. So right now I am using each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level, which is currently 1.5% to a maximum of 150%. So basically I'm definitely going to want to look into making sure my toxicity level is rather high. So basically if I use 
Um, I pull out my sword here, which I don't actually have on, but if I use a decoction at all times, that's going to put 70 toxicity on me already, which is going to be pretty good as far as making use of those extra mutations go. Okay, well, shit. That was definitely worth our time. Although, I did just find... You know what? I never examined this, it looks like. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. <sighs> but you know the they were, though. Power portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. A sign? Maybe what? Fire, you think? Or, like, Ard? Probably... They probably want Ard. Or do I do it... Oh, I probably have to do it on this itself. No. Nope. Okay, yeah, it's always just hard. Oh, I forgot this was underwater when I popped out of here. Okay, well, that works out. Alright, doing a secondary quest. Apparently, the city cemetery, which seems to be within the city limits instead of on the outskirts, which I find rather odd. Uh, there's something making Enough a bunch of noise. So, is it in here or upstairs? I'm gonna soon come in here and going up the stairs. I'm gonna find whoever it is that I'm looking for. I don't actually remember how we received this quest, but... Oh, great, we're in a bar. Fantastic. What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Noises the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Is that bitch just going to keep puking in the I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? Uh, I'm... I kind of think this guy's crazy, but it's probably just a wraith or something of the sort. The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, Jesus whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just Fine, do it. I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Hmm. Okay, girl. You need some help, because you're just puking up a storm in here. Alright, investigate Where the noises coming from the cemetery. Ah, if only my purse weren't empty. A quarter sand so... like a rat cat. Loud enough to wake the dead. What, the drunks or the noises from the cemetery? Because I think they're about Strange. both equally loud. Can't hear anything now. Alright. I'm gonna go off on a limb and save my bean here. Although I can't get in here. Interesting. Oh. Tracks. I see some red over there. Okay, I didn't mean to loot the poor dude, but... Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. It could be a grave hag who's digging people up to eat them, but... Wait, was there someone over there? Oh, grave digger. Okay, he works here. He's not a grave robber. Locked. Okay, all the crypts seem to be locked. 
That's out of the search area. Damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. All right. How do I get into the catacombs? So, noise is coming from here. Which would make it echo, which would explain a decent amount. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch of them down here, so. Like how I'm now a grave robber. The hell are these? How do you like that silver? <laughs> Might be noisy. I doubt they're the source of the sounds in question. Orders from Robin. Weird. Unlock. Whoa. Okay, this was a very good quest to go on if I wanted free stuff. Damn. I'm getting all kinds of shit from this. Don't mind if I do. Crafting materials for days. What, is it, now there's someone upstairs? Okay, I'm gonna loot this back corner here first. Oh my god, these are really creeping me out. Oh my god, there's so much loot in here. Okay, this is really creepy. Also, I just saw red up there. Okay, there's not that much down here. Basically just... Oh my god, this is creepy. Like, particularly creepy. Hold on, I didn't loot this pot. <laughs> like, I ran all the way over there just for four florins. What, are they outside again? This has to be a ghost or something. Mm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Uh -huh, this is a lot of stuff to examine, though. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Louis de Corentin. Died on the day of St. Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Oh my god, they buried someone alive. Oh no, this is totally what it is. He totally just buried someone alive and he's trying to dig out of his grave. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. He keeps saying that. Noise okay, is this... clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. This is really creeping me out. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide. See how things play out. Okay, where am I gonna hide though? Sit and wait. Come on, let me let me select Behind sit wait. A statue, maybe. All right. Just sitting here meditating as a witcher does. You draw the lie about all day, flipping those cards like some some dwarf. Disgusting. Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Oh my god, they're fighting Ingrid, another dead. I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. You're really loud with your private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. 
could yes. help you resolve it. <laughs> I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Slow Are down. What's the problem? This is my crypt. And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery. I was blind and a fool to marry him. Called it. He's a slave <laughs> to the cards. Prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you oh some boy. five hundred times. Carol's Quiet. So bad this. Shut up, both of you. Oh boy. <laughs> Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. The Decorantans. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Mm? Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. <laughs> what? I knew it was you. And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards. <laughs> oh boy. What, is he gonna try to bribe me too? This really puts me into the conundrum here. Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Valhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book, thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. I'm going to side with the woman. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. It, yeah, this guy annoys me more. Just because gambling's kind of stupid. For me. Heretic. I see you fell for that pious tart drivel. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen, I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. So he wants you to gamble remember. even in death? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. It depends if he runs around screaming. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. <laughs> I can't believe you flipped her off. Okay, how do I get out of here? Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go. They're probably gonna be really mad at me though when I curse them with this dude by putting his ashes down with them. Chamber Louis mentioned, gotta be. The amount of times I talk to ghosts. Are these grave robbers? Or grave diggers? I don't, I can't really tell. Oh boy. You gents also looking for that Gwent club? Mm. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? 
So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, you're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. You guys are really dumb. I had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Oh boy. Oh, he's not dead yet. I'm surprised. Okay, they're all dead. Oh, how much loot that, that did them? Oh, de Gwent. Place. There we go. Right. High time Margot paid up. All right. So go to Margot. Find out about the Gwent card that I'm never actually going to use since I don't play Gwent. But whatever. And was she in here? Yes. Okay, where are the cards, lady? Done. Now, where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate, then veer right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. All right. She want to say something as I walk off? Might I ask what yep. you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Put him with more Gwent. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. <laughs> All right then. So can I come up through here? Yep. So am I searching for the house or collecting my reward? Let's get the reward first. If this single lady keeps a devil somewhere shady. Alright, through down through here. And what will the morrow bring? Should be up upstairs. I don't know how much he actually was gonna pay us, because I don't even bother bargaining get anymore. Out of but... Lithia. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. <laughs> One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really tough, demanding fight. Barely made it out alive. <laughs> Is it your codex? Forbids you from revealing the details? For the best, I dare say. There's a small premium for you. You've earned it. That was incredibly irritating, so I'll take the bonus. <laughs> oh, 100 crowns? That wasn't a bonus. Fuck! Okay. And let's quickly go get this damn Gwent card that I'm never going to use just to get rid of the quest. But it's locked. So I don't how do I get up and around it? Interesting. Can I get up onto the roof from here? Or what push through this? Medallions gate? humming. Something's not quite right. Need to go around. Okay, why is something not quite right? Okay, this I can totally, they put this here for me to be able to jump up on top. There we go. Alright, I'm looking for rose bushes. Oh shit. What kind of fucking garden is this shit? Find him? This is like the one spot where there isn't a rose bush. It's just grass. Ah, just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. The irony of getting a Bruxa. 
<laughs> Shit. Okay, how do I get out of here? Well, I'm gonna leave that and figure that out on my own. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Witcher 3. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.